Greetings, Globeheads and Flatards. Um, my last video was on three things that uh, flat earthers say that are just untrue. And I actually considered including a fourth, um, but I didn't because the more I thought about it, the more I thought that this fourth item deserved a little bit more in-depth uh, discussion and uh, deserved its own video. Um, and so that's what I want to talk about tonight. And this is the false claim made by flat earthers that every photo of Earth, every single photo of our big beautiful globe is fake. This is a claim that is just categorically untrue. Um, flat earthers assert this with no evidence whatsoever to back up their claim. However, they do have something that they claim is evidence. And I think it really is a valuable thing to look at because it really gives you some insight into flat earther logic or perhaps lack thereof. There's a famous video by a man named Robert Simmon. Now Robert Simmon is or was a NASA employee and he's kind of a graphic designer. And you've seen, I'm sure you've all seen, uh, videos of flat earthers playing him on a loop where he's talking about a specific image of the globe called the blue marble. Actually, if you want to see it, um, it's the screensaver of a lot of iPhones, or it's one of the available screensavers. Um, but he's talking about this image and how it was created. Um, it was uh, created using NASA's Terra satellite that actually orbited around the poles from North Pole to South Pole, North Pole to South Pole. And as the Earth rotated underneath of it, it would get a different swath of the globe every time around. Um, and it would take photos of these. I think it was something like a 1,200 mile wide swath of the Earth on each pass. And then these photos were then literally photoshopped together into a composite image um, to make this image called the blue marble. And that's what Robert Simmons is talking about in this video. The flat earthers play over and over again on a loop where Robert Simmons says, um, yes, it is photoshopped because it, it has to be. I'm sure you've seen it. If you've ever seen a single flat earth video, you've probably seen it. Um, but that's really interesting that flat earthers would somehow take this and try to claim this is proof that quote unquote all photos of the earth are, or images of the earth are CGI. First of all, Photoshop and CGI is not the same thing. Um, when you take a composite photo, you are taking some actual photos and then you're simply putting them together into one image. When you're talking about CGI, you're talking about an image that is computer generated. It's not based on a photo. It's based on a computer program. It's basically computer animation. I'll give you an example. If I was to take a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger's, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's body, and I'm not talking about the 65-year-old failed governor of California, Schwarzenegger. I'm talking about that 1980 um, super buff, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I take his photo of his body and Photoshop my face on it. Now, we'd all agree that that's kind of ridiculous because... Uh, it wouldn't match up very well. And we could all agree that this, this uh, composite image ultimately was uh, not a real, a real image. However, it wouldn't change the fact that my photo, the part of my face was an actual photo of my face and that that was an actual photo of Schwarzenegger's body. That's not computer generated, okay? And this is what the composite uh, 
of the earth that Robert Simmon was talking about. But if you're going to buy the flat earther argument, then this is basically what they're arguing. That NASA made this composite. That NASA never once ever claimed that this was a photo or a, a, a one-shot photo. They, they told you on video that it was a composite. They told you that it was photoshopped because it, it, it has to be. They told you exactly what it was. So, therefore, in the flat earther's mind, that's evidence that because NASA told you the truth that this was not a photo, therefore they're lying and everything else they claim is a photo is not a photo? I'm sorry, that, that doesn't make any logical sense to me. If I was going to lie to you and make some, make some CGI, and then I was to come along and make another one, why would I then, therefore, absolutely just come out and tell you, well, it's Photoshop? No, I wouldn't. If the, if the idea was to deceive, then why would I try to tell you the truth? And if I'm telling you the truth, how is that evidence somehow that I lie and therefore everything else I've said is a lie? Do you see the, uh, do you see the problem with this logic at all? Or is it just me? The mistake NASA made, and, and I'll readily admit this, I think they made a huge mistake by naming this composite image the blue marble. Because to me, that's a huge source of confusion. You know, that's not the original blue marble. The original photo, blue marble, was taken in uh, by Apollo 17 on its way back from the moon, and it was published in multiple, uh, in multiple places all over the world in 1972. Now, CGI would come along really, really primitive forms of CGI came along in 73, 74. But what we really think of when we talk about CGI today is, uh, is technology that came along in the late 80s. Photoshop, uh, which again is not CGI, but it's a way of altering or... Um, making composite photos and so forth. Photoshop came along in the late 80s. But none of these technologies existed uh, in the 60s when they were taking pictures of the complete Earth uh, from space. In fact, um, the earliest photos, the earliest photo that doesn't show the whole Earth but is certainly far enough away to show curvature is from like the late 40s or early 50s way, way predating CGI. Um, so you can make assertions, but if you have no evidence to back them up, that's all they are is assertions. And if you're going to make a claim that something is CGI, you might want to check into exactly what the timeline is of when CGI was invented. And if you're going to make a claim that everything's CGI based on what Robert Simmons said, then maybe you need to learn what CGI is versus a composite because they're not the same thing. The reason why the Terra satellite had to make composite photos is because it was too close to Earth to see the whole thing at once. But the Himawari and other vehicles have been far enough out to catch the whole Earth, and they have done so and you have absolutely zero evidence to back up your claims or your assertions when you say these photos are fake. But even if they all were, what is your point? Where is your photo of your flat earth? There's a lot of interesting stuff out there on YouTube, but don't fall for the flake, uh, <laughs> don't fall for the snake oil salesman. Good night.